Alright, and welcome back for some more Fallout 3. Uh, last time I did talk to Pinkerton and figured out the history of Rivet City, but I'm gonna go on a complete 360 and start on one of the five DLCs. Actually, I think it's probably four because Broken Steel pretty much happens after you finish the game. So I'm going to be doing uh, Operation Anchorage. It's going to go... going to take a little bit of a... a little bit of a long walk, but we'll, we'll make it there. Let's see... there's some mutual enemy... or mutual people here. Waste... wastelanders. What's the matter, huh? And that's a slaver. Uh, let's go ahead and break out the hunting rifle. Kill this asshole. Oh, I don't want to type the slave. Type the slaver. Goodbye. Goodbye, body parts flying all over. Still body parts flying off. But but essentially I'm gonna save the slaves. I don't I don't really like the slavers all that much. They're a bunch of douchebags. Don't really care for them at all. And I may eventually do the quest to uh I don't remember what's his face, but uh the Temple of the Union quest line. And I don't even remember his name for the life of me. But um there's a there's a Hawkeye Vibot. Uh quite a long trek. There's a red rocket station over here. There is no no good cola. Help me! I'm wired with explosives! Oh, shit. And the raiders pop out of nowhere. Come on. Oh, uh, this sucks. I have quite a bit of energy cells here to use up. That critical strike. Oh. She has a flamer. Poor guy. Poor guy has stuff strapped to his oh. like There is another raider. And drink some of that. Drink some of that. Stop it. Stop asking me to attack dog meat. And yeah. Cool. Alright. Hello again, America the Magnificent. This is President Eden, and I was hoping we could talk. I've been thinking quite a uh, President Eden, you, sir, are just talking, talking, no action. Like, pretty much, pretty much all he does is pretty much talk, talk, and talk. He doesn't walk the walk. But uh, I think we're just about there. Yeah. A little bit more a little bit more walking to do, but should be there in no time. But uh, in terms of probably my favorite DLC, uh, 
Probably Broken Steel is probably my favorite, as there's some more raiders over here. And I'm about to die. Ain't that a joy? Uh, stuck in cover. Steak, dog meat. I had dog meat. When in doubt, when in doubt, always go for the combat shotgun. Does he have? Oh my God, those are hands on his belt. That's 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 lovely. That's special. Go ahead and loot this guy here. Has some shotgun shells for me. And I think I already loot that guy. Um, so. But I don't think I finished my complete thought. Probably my favorite DLC is probably Broken Steel. Usually I always try to save the best ones for last. And probably the reason why is probably, well, one, Liberty Prime makes it, makes another appearance there. And I absolutely love, <laughs> I absolutely love Liberty, Liberty Prime. Uh, then I picked up a skill book here. Um, but, yeah, good doctor. Uh, probably once I get Probably once I get to the outcast station, I probably should probably try to sell, sell some more stuff, sell some more stuff to the vendors. Probably over in Rivet City. But um, probably my le least favorite DLC is probably the, probably the pit. Wasn't really wasn't really all that, really wasn't all that great. Um, wasn't a lot of good rewards to it, and it was kind of a, it was just kind of more of a depressing DLC to be honest. It, um, Point Lookout, Point Lookout was, Point Lookout was alright. Uh, the lever action uh, rifle was probably probably one of the best guns in the game for that DLC that came out. For that, um, it was an okay. It was an okay DLC. Uh, Operation Anchorage was it was it was pretty good, but it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't great. By, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, go ahead and go into here. Go to here. Do that. And prepare the shotgun here. Continue on. But uh, probably one of my probably one of my favorite weapons of Operation Anchorage is probably the um, goodbye goodbye Google. Uh, probably the Gauze rifle is probably one of my favorite guns of the game. These things are really scary. Like. Pretty much like, um, pretty much the only, 
only real ghouls you have to really watch out for are the glowing ones and the uh, the reavers. If you pretty much run into either one of those, the glowing ones or the uh, the reavers, pretty much, pretty much, God bless you, because reavers are absolutely awful. I hate them. <laughs> And essentially, the glowing ones pretty much are pretty much radiating radiation to the other ghouls, so they can pretty much pretty much heal them, pretty much right there and here and there. Uh, are we actually there? I honestly can't remember if that was probably one of the shortest metro metro tunnels there was. Go ahead. Might as well help these guys out for a bit. Pretty much they... Pretty much they go all OP, OP on us before they actually even allow me to actually get any experience out of this. But... Go ahead and do that. Got some experience from that. At least. But kinda have to be a little bit careful of doing doing anything with these people pretty much if you if you pretty much attack them, pretty much they will go nuts on you and you'll be pretty much dead in pretty much in the next few minutes. So kinda have to be a little bit careful. Have to be a little bit careful. Without doing anything. There's a centaur there. As, oh, nope. oh. as I just did there. Ah. Sweet. So I'll be right back and. Fuck, man. I should I should just just stay back. <laughs> just let you got the... a death wish walking through a war zone? Listen, local. If you want to be of use, help us clear the mutants between here and our base camp. If not, stay the hell out of our way. Alright. I'll do that. Yeah. I got nothing. Shut up, dog. Stop growling. Point secure. That just leaves. 